All right, so we have a quiz tomorrow. We're going to have 12 questions in the quiz from the beginning of the week. Uh, go ahead. Look, look, from the beginning of the week, what we have on the board right now, I'm going to have four of each on the quiz. It's total 12 questions. So I'm going to have four of each, so you're looking at eight questions from the, from the quiz tomorrow. And I felt that this was easy for question number one. Solve for x. Assume the lines which appear to be tangent are tangent. Have the one tangent is 5x plus 8. I have the other tangent is 4x plus 1. I'm going to let them equal each other. 5x minus 8 equals 4x plus 1. I give you guys information about the radius, but we don't need the radius. I just need the tangents. So in this case, let me subtract 4x on each side. The minus 8, I'm going to move it to the other side as a plus 8. So on the left, 5x minus 4x, I get 1x. On the right, 1 plus 8, I get 9. So x equals 9. Like that simple. Looking at question number 2, I see a 5.6 on the top right. And I'm going to say the tangent that is next to it, the one that uh, at the side, that one's also 5.6. I see a 5.9. So I'm going to say the other tangent is also 5.9. The whole side on the right is 8.5. The whole thing is 8.5. Part of it is 5.9. So let me subtract them to find this other part. And that happens to be 2.6. So this is 2.6. This other part right here is also 2.6. At the bottom, this whole thing is 10.6. Part of it is 2.6. Let me subtract them to find the rest. So I'm going to get that this is 8, and obviously this is 8 as well. Now I'm going to find a perimeter. This is asking you to find the perimeter of the polygon. One of my sides of the polygon is 8.5, which was given to begin with. Another side is 10.6, which was also given to begin with. On the top, I'm going to add 5.9 plus 5.6, and I'm going to get that that side is 11.5. At the right, I'm going to add those two, 5.6 plus 8, and I'm going to end up getting that this is 13.6. Now I'm just going to add everything. Let's see, 11, 19, 29, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44.2. But I just added the four sides. Once again, four of each on the quiz tomorrow. So there's eight questions from the quiz. Any questions on those? Yes. Can you do another one like number two? Number two. Okay. So looking at this other number two, I see the 11.1. .1, and I'm going to say this other one right here is also 11.1. .1. I see the 13. So I'm going to say this other one right here is also 13. The whole side is 19.5. Part of it is 13. Subtract them, and I'm going to end up getting that this is 6.5, and so is this one. At the bottom, I see the whole thing 18.9. Part of it is 6.5. Let me subtract them, and I'm going to end up getting this is 12.4, and so is this. Now, for the perimeter, one side is 18.9. The other side is 19.5. This other side is 24.1. And this side right here is 23.5. Right. Then at the end, I'm just going to add the sides. Uh, let's see. I have 23.5 plus 24.1. <coughs> 19.5 and 18.9. Let's see, I have 10, 19, 23, 26, 86. All right. Any questions on these? So I said 12 questions on the quiz. That's eight of them. The other four is what we saw yesterday. I'm going to do two examples, but you're only going to see four of these on the quiz. 
I'm going to do two of it because I felt it was the hardest of the week. So this thing, I'm giving you an angle to begin with. You got to ask yourself, what can I do with that angle? I have 33 degrees. 33 degrees. And I know this corner where the 33 is because it's made by a radius and a tangent. The whole corner is 90. So I'm going to go 90 minus 33. That is 57. So this little corner here, it is 57. At the same time, this little corner here, it is also 57. Because I have an isosceles triangle. Right? Radius and radius. Okay. Not only that, but I can even figure out that this side right here, it is 123. And the reason why these two angles have to add up to 180, because technically it's the angle of a line. So that's how I know that's 123. Then I look at a triangle. I know if I add all three angles, it should equal to 180. So I have X plus 33 plus 123 is equal to 180. I can combine my like terms. 123 plus 33, that is 156. So I have X plus 156 is equal to 180. <coughs> Subtract 156 from both sides, and you're going to end up getting X is equal to 24. Looking at example four, I'm going to say this corner and this corner are both 90 degrees. Every time a radius and the tangent intersect, they cross on 90 degrees. So now I'm looking at a figure with four angles. Looks like a kite. I know if I'm going to add all the angles, X plus 90 plus 90 plus 126, this case is equal to 360. Right, four angles add up to 360. Once again, back in the days, I gave you guys a formula n minus 2 times 180. I reminded you guys of that yesterday. Okay, so I know this adds up to 360. Let me combine my like terms. 90 plus 90 plus 126. That is 306. Let me subtract 306 from each side. And we're going to end up getting that X equals 54. That's it.